So sometimes you want the ability to show your users that something is loading and that you want to prevent them from interacting with your application, perhaps until that job is done. It's not something I would highly recommend in a network driven application. Like for example, if, if you're submitting something to a website, it's better to support multi-threading in your application so that uh, you give the user a chance to exit. There are some valid uh, cases where sometimes you just don't want the user to be able to perhaps do anything else until that job is done. And, and you have a, a few different choices. One of them is to bring up a window in front of the user that says loading, please wait. And then that window would be on top of the main window of your application. And if the user tries to click behind that loading window, it won't let the user. That's one way. Another way is, for example, if you have a button and if you click on that button and if it you know, starts doing something, you can disable that button to prevent the user from clicking it again. You know, that's, that's one possible uh, solution. But there's actually a new way that I discovered with TK, which is essentially uh, what TK Enter uses under under the hood, and what it does is it actually I'll I'll show you it's it's actually quite neat. So here's a, a simple window. I have a cancel button, a start button, and a get status button. The main one I want to look at is the start button. So I, I'm going to simulate the start button doing something very intense that's going to take a while. But watch what happens here. It's it's pretty neat. I'm going to click on start and what it's doing now is it's showing a loading cursor, which I didn't add. This is TK doing it, which is amazing. And the coolest part is if I try to click the start button again, it doesn't register. I can, however, click on the cancel button and I can click on the get status button, but I can't click on the start button. I'm going to show you how to do this. Jobin, and I'm an open source developer. My channel is called Jobin Pi, and it's all about Python and Linux. Welcome to Jobin Pi. Okay, so this is the window again, and I'm just going to quickly go over what I've done here. It's a very, very simple application. So you just have a main class that's deriving from tk.tk. And I'm calling this method here to create a frame. And that frame essentially gets packed onto the screen. So, so this method returns a frame, which is right down here. And it's, it's, they're basically just buttons in a frame and a, and a label to show what the current status is. And these are the methods for the buttons that are clicked. So when the start button gets clicked, this code runs. So far, I just have print start button clicked and I'm changing the status to loading. So I'm gonna show you what that does. So if I click on start, it changes to loading. And the problem I'm facing now is I can click on start again and you'll see in the console down here, it says start button clicked. Again, I can click it as many times as I want and it just keeps adding the uh, the text down here so I don't want my user to be able to start it multiple times so that's what we're dealing with here and the cancel button when you click on it cancel button clicked and the get status button uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you this uh, I'll show you what the intention of this button is later okay so what I want to do is when I click on the start button I want to get that circular loading cursor and I don't want my user to be able to click on the button and again there are multiple ways to do this the easiest way would be to disable the button but there is a new way that I found out that I wanted to share with you so check this out it's really cool so in the start button I'm going to add this self.tk.call tk we're going to pass in tk and then busy 
and then hold. And what do we want to hold? We want to hold self dot button underscore start. So this is essentially just a reference to my TTK button, which I initialized up here. That's all it is. It's it's so this is my button, but this part is new. So I'm calling TK directly. Uh, so let's check this out first and then I'll explain what it does. So if I run it and if I click on if I click on start it so first of all it's showing that spinning uh, loading cursor which is cool and the best part is I'm clicking on start but nothing's happening. It doesn't register any uh, further clicks on that button which is exactly what I wanted. And this is TK doing the bulk of this work for me. So I didn't have to uh, code anything specific to, uh, to make this happen aside from calling that one line. And what if I wanted to get out of this loading situation? What do I do? Well, actually, before I get into that, I'll explain what, what this is doing. So first of all, we're calling self.tk. So what is TK? So TK is basically the part where we're saying TK dot tk so tk dot call call is a method of tk so essentially what i'm doing is i'm i'm calling tk directly and there are some things that tk enter doesn't directly support and this is one of them so for example if i click on self dot and then there's essentially all these methods that tk enter provides you know grid there's pack but in this case, if I want to run busy, there is no busy method. What if I do TK busy? No, I don't see a TK busy method either. So TK enter hasn't provided that for me. It might make it in a future version of, of TK enter, but it doesn't matter in this case because we can call TK directly from our Python script. So we're, we're calling TK busy hold and this is what's needed to, to make this work. And we're passing in the widget that we want to make or flag as busy. Okay, so how do we take it off of the busy status? So with that, I'm going to put that into the cancel button. So let's do that. Here I'm gonna put self.tk.call tk busy forget. So instead of hold, I'm putting forget. And what do I want to forget? I want to forget the hold or the, the, the busy flag on button underscore start. All right, let's try that. Okay, so I'm going to click on start like before, and it's showing as loading. And I can tell if I move my mouse away from it, it's normal. I can click the other buttons, but, but not the start button. So if I click on cancel, and if I go back, it lets me click on start again. So it removed that busy flag and I, I can click on it again, cancel, start again, cancel. So that's working perfectly. So that's basically how to uh, make it forget the busy flag. What if I wanted to get the status of that button to know whether it's in a busy state or not? So to do that, I can go to the get status button, which currently just prints text. Let's just delete those question marks. And here we're going to run self.tk.call. TK, so pretty much the same thing almost. Busy and status. So this is going to return a number and one means it's busy and zero means it's not busy. Okay, let's just see it in action. So right now I'm just gonna click on get status without starting it. Uh, whoopsie, I got an error, why is that? Oh, I forgot to pass in the button. So we need to tell it which status to get the status for. So btn start. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, get status. The status is zero, which means it's not busy. Like BTN start, this button is not busy. So now if I click on start, 
start button clicked, if I click on get status again, the status is one. And yeah, that's basically how you get the, the status. So I wanted to show you one more thing. So here we're passing in, you know, when we click on start, we're passing in the, uh, the widget that we want to flag as busy, right? But what if we want to make the whole window busy, like everything? So with that, I'm just going to pass in self. And in this case, self is referring to my root window, like tk.tk. .tk. It's passing to my main window. Okay, let's try that. Okay, I'm going to click on start. And you can see that the spinning loading cursor is everywhere. If I try to click on cancel, it won't work. If I try to click on get status, it won't work. So it's busy everywhere. So you can use this to make the whole window busy as well. So I just wanted to share that with you because it was uh, a pretty cool thing that I discovered recently. And uh, I hope you found it useful. Oh, by the way, if you find my video tutorials useful, please consider uh, donating on ko-fi.com slash jobinpai. I would really appreciate it. Thanks. Until the next tutorial, have a nice day.